morning, guys. May God bless you. So today we'll be going to the Bible study on the sayings of the wise. Uh, today we'll be going to read Proverbs chapter 22, 23 and 24. The sayings of the wise get started from Proverbs chapter 22, verse 17. Let's read. Pay attention and listen to the sayings of the wise. Apply your heart to what I teach, for it is pleasing when you keep them in your heart and have all of them ready on your lips, so that your trust may be in the Lord. I teach you today, even you, have I not written thirty sayings for you, sayings of counsel and knowledge, teaching you true and reliable words, so that you can give sound answers to him, to him who sent you. Do not exploit the poor because they are poor, and do not crush the needy in court. For the Lord will take up their case and will plunder those who plunder them. Do not make friends with a hot-tempered man. Do not associate with one easily angered, or you may learn his ways and get yourself ensnared. Do not be a man who strikes hands in pledge or puts up security for debts. If you lack the means to pay, your very bed will be snatched from under you. Do not move an ancient boundary stone set up by your forefathers. Do not see a man skilled in work. He will serve before kings, he will not serve before obscure men. Now we'll be going to read Proverbs chapter 23. When you sit to dine with a ruler not well, not well that what is before you, and put a knife to your throat if you are given to gluttony. Do not crave his delicacies, for that food is deceptive. Do not fear yourself out to get serious. Have the wisdom to show restraint. Cast by a glance at riches, and they are gone, for they will surely sprout wings and fly off the sky like an eagle. Do not eat the food of a stingy man. Do not crave his delicacies, for he is the kind of man who is always thinking about the cost. Eat and drink, he says to you, but his heart is not with you. You will vomit up the little you have eaten, and will have wasted your compliments. Do not speak to a fool who will scorn the wisdom of your words. Do not move an ancient boundary stone to encroach of the fields of the fatherless, for their defender is strong. He will take up their case against you. Apply your heart to instruction and your ears to words of knowledge. Do not withhold discipline from a child. If you punish him with the rod, he will not die. Punish him with the rod and save his soul from death. My son, if your heart is wise, then my heart will be glad. My inmost being he will rejoice when your lips speak what is right. Do not let your heart envy sinners, but always be zealous for the fear of the Lord. This is there is surely a future hope for you, and your hope will not be cut off. Listen to my son, listen my son, and be wise, and keep your heart on the right path. Do not join those who drink too much wine, or gorge themselves on meat, for drunkards and glutens become poor, and downsize and down sinners clothes them in rags. Listen to your father who gave you life, and do not despise your mother when she is old. Buy the truth and do not sell it. Get wisdom, discipline, and understanding. The father of a righteous man has great joy. He who has a wise son delights in him. May your father and mother be glad. May she who gave you birth rejoice. My son, give, you a, give me your heart, and let your eyes keep to my ways. For a prostitute is a deep pit, and a wayward wife is a narrow well. Like a bandit, she lies in wait and multiplies the unfaithful among men. Who has who, who has sorrow, who has strife, who has complaints, who has needless bruises, who has bloodshot eyes, those who linger over wine, who go to sample balls of mixed wine, do not gaze at wine when it is red, when it sparkles in the cup, when it goes down smoothly, in the end it bites like a snake and poisons like a viper. Your eyes will see strange sights and your mind imagine confusing things, you will be like one sleeping on the high seas, lying on top of the ridging. They hit me, you will say, but I am not hurt. They beat me, but I don't feel it. When will I wake me up? When will I wake up? So I can find another drink. Now we'll be going to read Proverbs chapter 24. Do not envy wicked men. Do not desire their company, for their hearts plot violence, and their lips talk about making trouble. By wisdom a house is built, and through understanding it is established. Through knowledge its rooms are filled with rare and beautiful treasures. A wise man has great power, and a man of knowledge increases strength. For waging war you need guidance, for, and for victory many advisers. Wisdom is too high for a fool, and the assembly at the gate he has nothing to say. He who plots evil will be known as a schemer. The schemes of the folly are seen, and men detest a mocker. 
If you falter in times of trouble, in times of trouble, how small is your strength? Rescue those being led away to death. Hold back those staggering towards laughter. If you say, but we knew nothing about this, does not he who weighs the heart perceive it? Does not he who guards your life know it? Will he not repay each person according to what he has done? Eat honey, my son, for it is good. Honey from the comb is sweet to the is sweet to your taste. Know also that wisdom is sweet to your soul. If you find it, there is the future hope for you, and your hope will not be cut off. Do not lie in wait like an outlaw against a righteous man's house. Do not raid his dwelling place, for though a righteous man falls seven times, he rises again. But the wicked are brought down by calamity. Do not gloat when your enemy falls. When he stumbles, do not let your heart rejoice. Or the Lord will see and disapprove and turn his wrath away from him. Do not fret because of evil men or be envious of the wicked. For the evil man has no future hope and the lamp of the wicked will be snuffed out. Fear the Lord and the King, my son, and do not join with the rebellious. For those, who, for those two will send sudden destruction upon them. And who knows what calamities they can bring. Now we'll be going to read some further sayings of the wise. These also are sayings of the wise. To show partiality in judging is not good. Whoever says to the guilty, you are innocent, peoples will curse the, him and nations denounce him. But it will go well with those who convict the guilty, and which blessing will come upon them. An honest answer is like a kiss on the lips. Finish your outdoor work and get your fields ready. After that, build your house. Do not testify against your neighbor without cause, or use your lips to deceive. Do not say, I will do to him as he has done to me. I will pay that man back for what he did. I went past the field of a sluggard, or past the, wind, past the vineyard of the man who lacks judgment. Thorns had come, upon, come up everywhere. The ground was covered with weeds, and the stone wall was in ruins. I applied my heart to what I observed, and learned a lesson from what I saw. A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding, folding of the hands to rest, and poverty will come on you like a bandit, and scarcity like an armored man. My dear friends, you should always be obedient to God. You should always keep the God's commands and laws, and you should always live according to that. In here, God teaches us some important lessons regarding how we should live this Christian lifestyle, how to be careful from the different kinds of wicked people around us, so my dear friends, you should always remember that we should always live a righteous life. We should always live according to the word of God, just as Lord had teached in his word. And my dear friends, as it says in the Proverbs chapter 22 verse 17, you should always pay attention and listen to the sayings of the wise. And you should always apply your heart to what God teaches. For it is pleasing when you keep them in your heart and have all of them ready on your lips. Amen. So my dear friends, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button. As always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow in the Tomorrow's Bible Study. Tomorrow is 2021. Happy New Year, my dear friends. Thanks for watching. God bless you. See you in the next video. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you in all the days of your life. Amen. And God bless you richly. Happy, happy New Year. Amen.